This is a three-in-one training tool for dribbling, shooting, and rebounding. Now, if you want the edge, you want your kid to be a little better than the next kid, then the Dribble Pro is what you need. The goal is to be able to bounce the ball normally and have an anomaly occur once every four to five bounces. And at that point, the ball would bounce off at a vector. So we created a computer model that would be able to simulate this. And we measured the uh, rotation of the ball and figured out where to place these anomalies on the ball so this would occur with that kind of frequency. When we did real life prototyping, we experimented with various nodule shapes and sizes. We went through over a hundred different variations of that in order to come up with the ideal nodule. For this to effectively work with the type of precision that we were aiming for, these balls have to be made like the professional basketballs where they have an internal bladder and the separate skins are applied and they're all vulcanized in place. Let's, let's talk about dribbling. There are four nodules that were placed on the ball scientifically. I didn't want the erratic bounce. I didn't want the ball to go more than 20 degrees away from you or more than an arm or reach away from you. And in doing this, it created good fundamentals of keeping your hand on top of the basketball to control it. A lot of times when we dribble the basketball, we're lazy with the real basketball and the basketball gets away from us. But this basketball dribbling with the nodules hitting uh, you know, every five or six times, you have a tendency to control the basketball more and you have a tendency to focus on hand-eye coordination. So your hand really becomes your eyes on the basketball and you control it as you dribble with the hand on top of the ball and move into the ball. You look at the good shooters who shoot the basketball, they talk about how they release it with hand-eye coordination. The same thing here, you get the feel of the ball, you don't put your hands on any nodules, you get the correct, it teaches you, it teaches you to hold the basketball and shoot the basketball correctly and get the proper spin on it. And it can be used only for rebounding if you want it to. And this is what's so, so nice about this basketball. If it hits one of these nodules, there are four on the ball, if it hits one of these nodules, when you shoot, the ball moves. When it hits the backboard and it hits one of these nodules, you're in a position with your hands up and your feet in balance to move to get the ball. So the best rebounders go get the ball opposed to the ball coming to them. So if it doesn't hit one of these nodules, it comes right back to you. But you don't know when it's going to hit one of them, so they keep you in a position where you're in balance and your hands are up and ready to move to get the ball. You really don't need a trainer with this ball. This ball teaches you. This ball gives you the edge in shooting, rebounding, and dribbling. So you don't have to have that coach standing there telling you what to do. This ball would teach you the correct way to do it. It teaches you the fundamentals. It's getting back to the fundamentals again of what young basketball players have lost. We've lost that art of, of really the fundamentals of the game, shooting, dribbling, and rebounding. And it only takes a few minutes to do it. If you want the edge, I think this ball will give you the edge.